Hello. Okay, today so we're going to make very easy time-saving instant pot beef bolognese. Basically, you need um, two pounds of ground beef here. So this one is ninety percent lean, ten percent fat. So both of the ah, and then the other one I got is eighty percent lean and twenty percent fat because. I still want some of the fat to come out. Yeah, and so you is are ninety percent. One is ninety percent. The other one is eighty percent lean. And then you also need maybe a head, one whole and a half garlic, and one whole small red onions. And then I mince them now together. This is six pieces of the small carrots and two celery sticks one piece bay leaf which we have over there i'll show you later and optional if you happen to like find this in the grocery get rosemary fresh rosemary okay and you also need olive oil and salt and pepper to taste i think that's it so just to review, you have 2 pounds of ground beef, preferably 80% lean, 20% fat. 1 whole onion diced, you can choose red or white onion. 1 head garlic to 1 and a half head garlic diced. 6 small carrots, 2 celery sticks, 1 third cup olive oil, 1 tablespoon garlic salt, 1 teaspoon ground pepper, 1 bay leaf, and you have the option of adding fresh rosemary, one large jar of ready-made tomato sauce. So as you see here, the instant pot is off. It's plugged, but it's off. What we're going to do first is we're going to saute all the ingredients before we start the pressure cooker. Press saute. And just leave it like that and wait for it to heat up. Now it's on. It says it's on. So you add about one third cup of virgin olive oil just to cover the bottom of the pan. After a few seconds, um, you, you may already add your garlic and your onion and make sure to mix it up so you won't burn the ingredients. Maybe a good two minutes and then Two minutes and then we're going to add now the beef after two minutes of sauteing. Okay. Now we're trying to <laughs> mix two pounds of the beef. And then you add one tablespoon of garlic salt and one teaspoon of black pepper, ground black pepper. That's all you need. Don't add anything anymore and keep on mixing so that you won't burn the bottom. I forgot to record the part where you add already the rosemary, the bay leaf, the um, celery, and the carrot. So add them up after five minutes. And then you're gonna use, for now, let's see, has 680 grams. One big jar of the traditional tomato garlic basil. If you could find one that is already bolognese, better. But today they didn't have it in Metro Acre, so we need to do this one. Okay, and then mix it again. And then we're adding one cup of water. What I did was I put it here. There you go. And that's it. That's it. Let's mix it a little bit. And we're going to turn it off. Once that's off, we're going to press manual. And then we're, we make sure that the, the light is here in high pressure. And then we're going to press... Oh no! Oh, we're gonna press 20. So for 20 minutes. Now we're gonna cover the lid. We make sure that it's sealed. Okay. So make sure that it's sealed. 
okay? It needs to reach a certain temperature and then it's gonna start its countdown. So that's 20 minutes. And after, after that, we'll check if we need to adjust the taste, then we'll add more salt and pepper. See how like the other ingredients have disintegrated into the sauce. That's how I like it. Now if you like it more chunky then then you chop it differently. Don't dice it. But me I like it like that. Eh? I really like it. Like it disintegrated. Go. Oh wow. It's good. It is perfect. I don't need to add anything. Perfect. Now, guys, some people they add the cheese here. They add their their um, guys. Yeah, this is for everyone who wants this uh, recipe. Some people add the parma parmesan here. Some people add the parmesan when they already uh, on the plate. So it's up to you. So anyway, here it is. Good. I will never be able to replicate this. Yes, you can. It's on video now. But I am not worthy. It's just, oh my, okay, I'm gonna stop this. It's instant pot bolognese. And here we go. This serves one, two, three, four, five, six. So go to my eight people. Eight servings to. So, naka separate na. I separated um, uh, the sauce into tubs, smaller tubs, so that we could freeze it. And if you want to have bolognese, you could just get one tub, and that's good for one, one and a half servings with your preferred pasta. Bon appetit!